Welcome back to I Do, The Ultimate Wedding Show. Planning your wedding is exciting, but it's also a lot of work. If it's in your budget, it is a huge advantage to have a professional by your side as you plan your big day. We sat down with wedding planner Courtney Tibbetts for some tips on things you can do yourself if you're trying to keep your budget in check. Hi, I'm Courtney Tibbetts, wedding planner and facilitator of fun here at I Do. I'm here to help you get the most out of your wedding planning experience and save some stress along the way. If your budget doesn't allow for a full wedding planner, you might be wondering what are some of the things that you could easily do on your own to prepare for the wedding. And I would always say hire a wedding coordinator to execute everything on the wedding day so that you or your mom or your girlfriends aren't there setting things up. But prior to the wedding, some of the things that you can do on your own are hiring your vendors. So it's important to vet people. There is no governing body for wedding planners. So there's no licensing body, there's none of these things. So it is important that you look at reviews and not only look at reviews, but drill into them. Is, do they have only six reviews and do all of those people only have one review and it's for that business? That's a red flag. Look at Wedding Wire, look at The Knot, look at Yelp, look at all of these places and see, do they have multiple reviews? I've been in business for over 10 years. I have over a hundred and something five-star reviews in many of these places, and that shows that somebody has the experience to be able to help you with your wedding. This would be the same for a DJ, a photographer, a videographer, a band. Look at their reviews and make sure that they've been in business for a while. Hiring the people who are the most experienced for your budget is going to be the best thing that you can do for your wedding. And that's something that you can do on your own if you have the time to research those vendors. Look through their galleries, look through their website, look on their social media, look everywhere and vet these people before you hire them and sign a contract with them. So vetting and hiring vendors is something that you can do on your own. Something else that you can do on your own is preparing a wedding planning checklist. It seems like it's a big undertaking, but if you can make things into digestible chunks, it's going to make the next year of your life very easy. I would suggest that you pull these checklists from various websites, mix them together and bring them down into one so that you can say the next year of your life, here's what I'm gonna do in November, here's what I'm gonna do in December, here's what I'm gonna do in January, and that's how you can keep yourself accountable for the wedding planning process. Look at qualified reviews, make sure they have many of them and do your research and you will be happy with your wedding vendors come wedding day. Sounds like it's all about doing your homework. 